Hi guys, welcome back to our East London Airsoft Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing the box opening and review on the CM16 Wild Hog by G&G. Right, before I get this out of the box, they do make a few different uh, models of this uh, gun. You get four different size uh, guns. You get a 7 inch, a 9 inch, a 12 inch and a 13.5 inch. This one I'll be doing a review on today is the longest one. It's the 13.5 uh, inch. They also do make these, they make a GC16 as well, which is the Wild Hog, but that is a full metal gun. This one is not full metal, it's got a plastic body on it, but um, to be fair, you have extra £70 for that, and I've been told by the guys who I bought this off that the internals are basically the same. The only difference is, is that this has got the plastic body, and the GC16s have got the metal body, but for that, like I say, you pay an extra £70, so, and it's probably going to be slightly heavier, so... Um, Right, let's get this out of the box and see what we've got. Right, first of all, like every GNG uh, gun you buy on the market, you get your magazine of, of the GNG. It's also got pictures of the four different uh, size ones they do. It's obviously just shows you a breakdown on uh, how, to, how to put the battery on, how to get your hop up, you know, just the standard stuff. You also get the GNG uh, poster, which is basically got all the guns that they are selling on out there on the market uh, on one poster. Another standard thing you get in with all GNGs. You get your cleaning rod and jamming rod. You also get a 300 rand high cap uh, magazine with it which is, again, is standard with all the GNGs you buy now. And look, they're quite lovely magazines, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a rubber grip magazine, and it's, it is a lovely grip on it. The, um, the only slight downside thing I would say about it is that when you're trying to get them out of your, uh, out your magazine pouches, sometimes they get a little bit caught in there, you know, you can't get it, pull it out as quick as it would be with a metal one, but, you know, still a decent magazine. Like I say, this is the longest version gun. This is going to be an outdoor gun for me. Um, straight out of the box with this gun, you do get a MOSFET with it, and you also get an uh, electronic trigger switch, which obviously is like a faster trigger response, which is it comes standard with this gun. So, you know, you haven't got to go out and, and get that put up. It's got a, a V2 motor in this. Now, I have seen a couple of videos where people say they've had trouble with the motors, you know, I can't say anything about it at the moment because I haven't really shot this gun. I've, I've shot a few BBs out of it, but nothing, you know, I can't really test that. But um, the, the guys I bought it off, they said to me, the only really upgrade they would do to this gun is uh, the inner bore, you know, just to make it a little bit tighter. And they're saying, you know, that's, that's all. The, the manufacturer says that this gun, gun is running about 325 to 345 FPS. Uh, when I do the shooting review on it, I will do a chronograph as well. So um, we'll see how close that is to that, you know what I mean? Um, what else can I say? Basically, it's just a standard, it's got the standard pop-up system thing there. So your hop up's in there. You know, like most GNGs, just in there, the little twist, forward and backwards. Um, this has a five position sliding stock. Standard GNGs. This can also fit the nunchuckers. This one, nunchucker batteries. Um, the only thing I would say as well, what I've noticed, is that the little wiggle in that, when you put it in the lock position, I think maybe they could have took a little bit more time with that, just made it a little bit tighter, but personally, I don't think that's really gonna bother me. So, um, yeah, it's got a uh, magazine release both sides. So you have a mag magazine release that side. You also have one there as well. Oh, I can show you that. Like I say, this one is the 13.5 inch. Uh, this is a mod rail. It has a mod rail on it. It's got a, a metal top rail, which is uh, 
not so standard because a lot of them now do are come like they're normally plastic, so that has got a metal top one on there. Um, you've got sights will come with it, pop up sights. The other one I haven't put on the front yet, it's still in the bag there, but I probably won't even use that. To be honest, yeah. These not really I don't really like these sights, they are I, I was a little bit tight for me in there, but I suppose they're alright to keep the spares. And uh yeah, I think that's really about it, like, you know. I mean, it's, like I say, for the price of this, I think it's a, a decent gun, you know. If it runs at that FPS as well, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy with it. But uh, we'll see when I do the uh, chronograph and I do the shooting review on it. I will be adding a few bits onto it, like, for the shooting review, just to uh, pimp it out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.